family, and welcome to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Go Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I really appreciate you coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today's topic is one huge thing that we overlook before coming. So, and my support scripture for this is Genesis chapter 7, verses 1. It reads, And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. So, um, my thoughts on this is Noah was seen righteous in God's eyes, and I I'm nowhere even to be mentioned in the same breath, uh, on the same page, in the same book uh, as Noah. Um, so I'm just trying to relate this to, you know, God seeing me, you know, God seeing me as righteous in a sense that I feel uh, because God told me to, you know, pack up uh, my family and leave. Uh, and as we have left, you know, we have saw like uh, continued evil throughout the land. And, you know, I, I never want to bring it down, but I, I just want to point out the fact that, you know, listening to God, you know, that he found us, you know, because, you know, who are we? Who are we in the grand scheme of things? We are no one. We are nobody. And so for God to see us, for God to think of us, for God to give us this opportunity to come here and to bless us and to keep us, you know, man, being a servant of the Most High God is amazing. Because you're always in awe of what he's going to do next. You're always in awe of his grace, his mercy, his, for, you know, his, his forgiveness of our sins. Because it, on a day-to-day, -day, you know, we have our bumps and bruises here. You know, we have the days where, you know, we, we are thinking about, you know, the old life. And we are, you know, gravitating toward this new life, this new existence. Um, and it's scary. It is scary making that move. It is scary making that jump. And, you know, having that trust in God that, you know, he says, hey, come thou and all thy house into the ark. So he has put us in a place where he feels we're going to be safe. Not where we feel we're going to be safe, but how he feels about us being safe. And so that's what I left on. And that's what I've journeyed to this place because of. And this is just my testimony going forward, you know, being in God's grace, his will, and understanding my purpose. Because my purpose is not to do what I want, but to do what he wants. And I've said this before, but, you know, to see God, uh, his, his grace and mercy to look down upon me, uh, a sinner, the chief of all, just like Paul. And he said, hey. I deem you to be righteous enough to go in my name, come to a place, uh, immerse yourself in a community, help a people grow and build and see what I will do for you. So I'm thankful this day. And, you know, I pray that you understand how blessed you are to be in the situation that you're in. And I pray that you understand that you can do a lot more than you're doing. Man, we can't limit ourselves to what we think. We can't limit ourselves to what others think, you know, because God has something in store for us if we just stop thinking and start following him. So, guys, again, I appreciate you for listening. And as always, enjoy the journey.